Okay, I found what I was looking for. Um, so I'm going to do a video. Um, I've been watching Roxy Creations and, of course, Gail Agustinelli. Um, and both of them have made a version of this. I'm going to make my own version, just however I see fit. Um, I got this little notebook at Target. And I... Well, I'm a mom. You guys know that. And I... Um, love Target dollar spot even if it's not like in my um aesthetic so I got this cute little notebook for three dollars and it is bigger than this ruler <laughs> um it is seven by probably nine and I thought it'd be perfect so I want to make an ephemera, ephemera storage binder um, to put my ephemera in. And I needed what I needed to find was my tracing paper. And what I found was um, some tea dyed tracing paper, but I also have just some wax paper, which I think actually will be the better option for me. Um, so, um, like I said, this is, so I think I'm going to make these, let me see here, six and a half would be good, and maybe eight and a half. So I'm not going to use, um, they used, um, nice paper. I'm just going to use, just got these file folders. Oh! It's not even a folder. I thought it was a folder. It's like a divider. What ring book indexes? Wow. Okay. So I'm going to use these, but I also thought that I might use some of these. Um, and let's see. If I, so I'm just going to deconstruct for a minute. Um, so I want to use this for like my stamps and my, I, I do cut out a lot of fussy cut, a lot of things and you should really go watch their original videos because they're the, um, Roxy creations is the original creator or that's where I originally saw this idea. So I'm copying her. We always like to give credit where credit is due a hundred percent. And she's, she's a pretty smart cookie, that Roxy. And uh, Rachel is her name. And um, so she came up with this. And I think it's going to be great for me. So let me write that down. What did I say? I said... I want to make it my pages six and a half by eight and a half. Okay. So I have been um, in bed sick watching any video that I could to get my mind off of my sickness. And so I'm so appreciative for all the free content on the internet, right? When you're sick and you just wanna chill. Um, so I don't, I was telling somebody, I think it was, oh gosh, the flu makes you lose complete memory. Um, it must've been Jessica Rapp we were texting, that's eight. So let's see how much eight and eight is six. Yeah, I'm just going to do whatever this is in half. So it's almost 12. So six. So half of six, half of 12 is six. See what I mean? It's like, I'll do five and a half. Um, what was I even telling her? I don't know. I was telling her something. Oh, that I've watched all of her videos. And I need her to make more so that I can watch more while I'm sick in bed. And she's sick in bed too. Okay. Not the same, but 
we'll do six and a half. Yeah, that'll be fine. So I got two pages here going. So let's just start with that. Put that away. Oh, and they used a glue. Let me go get the glue and pause my video. I'm going to use um, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, but I have heard that um, there's a Quick Dry um, Eileen's Tacky, which would also be a good option. You know, I'm not even sure how this is going to work, so I just want to see real quick. I've had this for maybe two years, so you can't at Target. It's not at Target anymore. I'm sorry, but they do often have um, little three ring binders like these, probably for planners. Um, I'm not a planner. I don't even plan my artwork. I'm not even measuring. <laughs> Oh man, I sound horrible when I cough. So, um, or when I laugh, I've been coughing a lot. The flu um, affects your lungs. So, get my crocodile out. I finally found the puppy. She was lost, and then when I did all my Marie Kondoing, she was found. And I probably should have um, put on my glasses, but Lord knows where those are because I haven't been, like, near a book or work or anything for days and days and days. But I'm so thankful for modern medicine and... Um, my family for taking care of me and taking care of my daughter and um, my work for allowing me like I'm a teacher you guys know so I have a certain amount of time off and the secretary was so nice she was just like just get better we'll call like and oh and yeah that works yay Kate um and my student teacher, you know, I've been telling you guys about my student teacher. Well, um, she graduated, yay, and she could sub in my class. So I didn't have to write as many sub plans and blah de blah de blah. It was just, I mean, I still wrote them, but it was like, you know... I didn't have to go in and like put everything out. If I said go get the 12 by 18 pieces of paper, she knew where they were because she's just been in my classroom. She was just such a blessing. I mean, really huge blessing. So thank you. I'm not having so much luck here. Let me just do that better. Um, I don't know if she wants her name to be out there on the internet so I'm not gonna say your name but you know who you are and thank you if you're watching um, it's been a week the funny thing about this week is I mean it was not funny there was I mean I was if you saw a picture of me I think I put a picture on junk journal connections in the comments of one of the things and I, I had to get IV fluids um, so yeah pretty serious um, I went to the doctor on Tuesday morning, like when they, when they opened at seven 30 and I was actually there early and luckily they were open early and, um, that one's a little off and, um, they, you know, tested me and took care of me and gave me IV fluids. And I was like, I'm not a an IV person at all. It was difficult when I had children and had to get my blood drawn and yeah, but, um, I was just like, well, this is what's going to help you. And it really did. And, um, 
so thankful that I could do that. I didn't have to go to the hospital. Um, okay, so we got that. Now I'm trying to decide. I really don't want to use the tea stain because I'm going to put in my little stamps and let's see. I have a whole bunch of different stamps. I have these stamps here, but basically what one of them did is like, okay, how big, you know, and then let's see, find my ruler and then going like, I think one of them did like an inch pocket. So yeah, an inch is just about right. So I'll do an inch by, let's do five and a quarter. So I know Roxy just tore and that would be a good idea, but I'm just not filling up for even figuring that out. So. We're just gonna do I, I wish there was is this an inch I'm just gonna say that that's an inch and make a little strip yep that looks close to an inch my on camera yeah let's do a couple of them here and then you'll get the idea and you can stop watching if you want and, and make your own um, I just actually ordered a few stamps, um, on Etsy, so those will be coming in a little bit, and then I think I want to make, like, an inch and a half pocket for, like, bigger, deeper things on other pages, so... inch and a half so yeah um oh but the funny thing was is that I'm going through all of this and just like it is not my week at all and then right as I'm starting to feel better I get a very very nice um woman asking me to do a custom journal which um I'm not going to be in the business of doing all that much and I'll just do one at a time and not take on too much more work than I can handle um, probably one every two or three months but um, so that was good because I could really use the money um, all my Etsy money goes towards my kids and um, then um, I heard from a woman at work that I won a drawing at work. So that was a little bit more money. So I won it while I was gone, but that's fine. And they'll save it for me. And then um, I was sitting, at, you know, I never really do those like things where it says, um, uh, <clears throat> What do they say? They say, like, um, you know, put a gif in the, put a gif in the um, comments for a chance to win X, Y, and Z. And so I did, because I'm on my phone, like, bored out of my gourd. And I won. And I saw her do the, like, that's not tearing as much as I want it to. Um, I saw her do... Um, the little random picker, the random name picker. So I know she knew I was sick, but I knew she didn't do it just because out of sympathy. So anyway, that was also like, oh my gosh, my luck is changing. So, uh, yeah, these are not going to be as cool as Roxy's. Hers are pretty cool. Hers are, her thing is bigger. Can you see this? There we go. But, and, and I'm using, I'm just using what I have, which is, um, I do have tracing paper. I just have to dig it out. But this is, um, oh, what do you call it? You know. Um, 
wax paper. That's how long it takes my brain to like think. Um, the Tamiflu stuff makes me just, man, like not myself. Okay, so then they use their glue and I am gonna use this, although I could use Fabrifix, but let's see, put this one right here. I think that little bit will be okay. Um, I haven't used this in a long time, but I just can't wait to make one of these. So I'm just going to make it. And you know, the other cool thing about this is that you can make like, I can just make two pages now and then I can make a couple pages later. So you don't have to like make it like, well, I'm making it in a, like a ring book. I'm not binding it. So I can keep adding to it. So the bigger my stash grows and I can make them custom to whatever the size of my, um, whatever the size of my stamps or any other things that I cut out. I think this does dry clear, but I really don't care because it's not about the look. It's about the function for me. Some people might care about the look. Um, Yeah, it's just like a little tiny pocket. That's a lot of glue, <laughs> but I'm learning. Um, photo safe, acid free, no mess, precision tip, no run formula. I don't know if it's good for, who knows? So like that, like this would go in there and then I'm gonna do another one right there. Perfect. I love this. So thank you so much, Rachel, for showing us all. And I needed some organization to my stamps. I just have them in a nice little box. And they're fine in there, but um, when I'm looking for something specific like birds or flowers or butterflies, um, this is a much better option. So I can kind of create my custom little book of, here we go. Yeah, I did too much glue on that, but you know, you learn as you go. And then you can kind of see them. And here we go. Oh yeah, this works perfect. Wow, what a cool thing. I was watching it and then I watched Gail make one and I was lying in bed just longing to get up and make something. And so this is my first project back from the dead. <laughs> so I didn't work all week. Monday was President's Day and um, I think I made a video on that day. You know, life is fuzzy. Um, but it, um, and then I had, I was sick Tuesday morning. I was woke up just ill. And, um, so anyway, I'm actually really excited to go to work on Monday, um, and see my students and see my colleagues and get back to just my little, I my, I love my classroom. That's probably not very straight, is it? Yeah, it's kind of quick dry. It's okay. We like, we like it. There we go. So I wonder, that goes there. Do I want another one? Not really because, well, I could have a little one, but that guy's there. I'm just going to do a three. So, yeah, this one was too much glue, but this these ones are drying. So, yay. So, here's my butterfly stamps. I can put right there. I don't want that to get gluey. So pretty. Okay. And I, you can do it on the back, too. So, you can do them on the back, but I'm just going to do it for right now to see how it looks in here. 
and I like to keep my videos somewhat short. Yay! So that'll be able to sit on my desk and I'll know that all my stamps and other cut things. So let's see, let me look. I have another box called, oh, I could put my paper dolls from Tim Holtz. You know, I haven't used a one of them yet, um, but I have this box and this box has just things that I've cut out. Like I have all these birds that I've cut out. Ooh, that's a big bird though. Um, so this is like what I take with me if I'm going somewhere, but like I could put little birds in there. Yeah, this is a perfect project. So I'm going to keep working on it and I'm going to turn the, um, camera off because I, you know, I feel like I have to talk the whole time the camera's on. Probably don't. You guys would probably watch anyway, but yeah, um. Yeah, these, yep, these, this is going to be just so perfect. What a great idea. So um, when I upload this, I will try to put a link to Rox, uh, Roxy Creations' um, original video. I think it's a two-part video. I don't remember. So, um, but I can have a little section for my birds. And I don't have to keep them in this box with all the, like, why did I save all the cuttings? I don't know. Um, so yeah. Oh, well, still cut that out. I see what I was doing. And like little strips of things. Ooh, is that a little bee? It might be. I'm not sure what that is. Um, so yeah, this is a great project to just, you know, um, organize. I, uh, been really into organizing lately and I also find that it very much inspires me to just go through my stuff and see what I have and um <coughs> so yeah so I'm gonna I keep saying that I'm gonna I'm gonna I am going to keep doing this and if you liked that if you like this um, video, if you would, oh, how sweet. I think I put, put that on another video too. Um, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. That helps me, you know, just for people to find me. I'm not like super into subscribers and I'm just doing this for fun. So don't feel like, you know, you don't have to tell all your friends, but a like would be helpful. <laughs> and I'll leave it there. Oh, I see. I have lots of these little, I don't know what that bird is, but it's so sweet. Um, oh, look at that owl. Don't you love my fingernails? My children painted them. One girl painted this hand. One girl painted that hand. <laughs> um, so the owl and I will say goodbye for now. And see you another time, and thank you all for your support. Bye-bye.